community. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Dane Vogel. Now, Dane, a lot of liberals out there... A lot of liberals out there have been saying that corporations like Ultor are part of the problem. That they're destroying America with their attitude of, to hell with the community, the bottom line is all that matters. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. I have some pictures that I would like to show your audience, if you don't mind. Now, what you're seeing here are pictures of Saints Row a few short years ago. Parents, you might want to tell your kids to leave the room. There will be minorities in these photos. Like I was saying, in the past, this district was filled with gangs, hookers, and drugs. Now, Alderman Hughes... A great man who was taken from us far too soon. Alderman Hughes had a vision for Saints Row. He wanted to pull the district from the depths of depravity into a brighter future. Now, we at Ultor could not agree more. That's why we spent considerable resources turning this into this. <laughs> Crack houses to corporate parks, pimps and hoes to cops on patrol. Amazing. Just amazing. I think we all owe Ultor another round of applause. And he's a hero! I'm not saying that he's not. I'm saying that a man who ran with a gang, he was undercover. He was in the Saints for a long time. Is it really that hard to believe that people have problems with him being announced chief of police? He's responsible for sending the Saints behind bars. And now three new gangs have taken their place. You telling me you want Johnny Gat back on the street? And the ones you know about the program, so the ones you get some money. This footage was taken last night as the Brotherhood went on another looting spree. This time focusing their wrath on the recovering community of Espada. People watched in horror as the crazed individual known as Mero led his men on a violent night of chaos. With no end in sight to the gang epidemic, one has to ask, what are the police doing? Ultor. Years ago, these serene waters were shaken as Mayor-elect Richard Hughes's yacht was destroyed by a tremendous explosion in what was at the time the second assassination of a major public figure. Stillwater University, a place of learning or a state-funded opium den. These kids are smoking Loa Dust, a popular designer drug that is sweeping across the city courtesy of a street gang known as the Sons of Samdi. I hit the campus to get some of the students' take on this dangerous epidemic. As a student here, what are your thoughts on the drug problem facing this campus? Oh, I'm not a student here. I just come here for put... It was a warm spring day when Shogo Akuchi and his Ronin announced their presence to Stillwater. One swing was all it took. Now, some misguided people would say that by turning Saints Row into a glass-and-steel utopia, all you've accomplished was the displacement of low-income families, which, you know, to me, sounds like an added bonus. Well, I don't know about it being a bonus, but it's like my father said, Anne, if you're gonna build an ivory tower, you're gonna have to kill a few elephants. 